Hello, everybody. Um, if you haven't uh, seen this before, I'm doing a test on whether pineapple or eating pineapple can uh, help with eye floaters. So uh, I've got a, another video where I started this series. I'll put a card up here and I'll let you take a look at that if you care to. But what I'm going to do today is just show one of the variables. Last time I uh, just sliced one open, I'm going to use a pineapple coring machine that I picked up at Walmart. And you can pick them up, I don't know, probably just about anywhere. But anyway, uh, I'll show you how I do that. And I'll say I've, I've been a, a week or so into this. And um, it was a three-month survey that was originally done. And that's in the other link to that is in the other video. Uh, I will say that it appears to me that the, my floaters are a little more mobile than they were. So whereas originally it, one would get stuck right in your field of view and you just had to kind of deal with it, tune it out, so to speak. Uh, what it seems to me is that I'm able to actually get those to move off to the side a little bit better than I could before. So is it the pineapple or is it just because I'm flicking my eyes more frequently? I don't have any idea, but uh, it's a three month deal and I've only been into it a little over a week. So let's cut a piece of pineapple up and I'll core this one and show you what I'm doing with that. Okay, uh, just like uh, before, use a pointed knife. And what we're going to use is a pineapple coring machine, if you've never seen one of these. It just screws down through the pineapple. It has a ratchet, so I don't know how loud it's going to be. Maybe I shouldn't use the ratchet. Uh, anyway, I'm going to cut the top of the pineapple off. Just take your little pointed knife and insert it right in there. And you can cut through the pineapple pretty easily. Gives you a flat surface uh, to start on with the coring tool. So just find the core. I might have not trimmed that quite enough. And my basset hound might come to visit. He uh, seems to enjoy pineapple quite a bit. I don't give him very much. Anyway, the coring tool is hollow. You put it down over the core and you push down on it and you just turn. This is a really juicy pineapple. And you can tell when you get to the bottom and you just kind of pull up and twist and it cuts the last piece off and you sort of unscrew it as you pull it up and that's it so you have this nice piece of pineapple and remember um, the enzymes that we're after for the eye floaters are in the core so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the bottom of this off and we're going to save the core and I am destroying my wife's oven stove so I'm going to be cleaning that up in just a jiffy. Man, that's a juicy pineapple. Anyway, there we go. So what I will do, if you push this little button here, it releases the piece from the top, the ratchet mechanism. And then you can just turn this upside down and everything just pushes right off. Now, what I have found before you pull this off, if you take your knife and run down through here, you now have a bunch of slices of pineapple. And it's just that easy. Then I'll put these in a bag and a couple of these is uh, what I'll call a slice. Maybe three of these is what I'll call a slice. So figure about this much uh, per portion. And I'll cut the, the core off into little sections. And the core is pretty chewy if you haven't ever eaten that before. I don't think most people do. I always have. Uh, but if you cut this into smaller pieces, 
then uh, it's it's much easier to eat. I cut these into small pieces and then I cut them into quarters. So just show you on one of them so I can keep track of my portions when I package these up. I'll speed up through the repetitive stuff. And that's it. So this will be my uh, portion for today. And apparently my basset hound didn't smell it. He hadn't showed up yet. And you can, if you want to, you can go in here and trim a little bit more out of here. It doesn't completely get everything, but it gets a, a significant amount of it. And it depends on the pineapple. So if anybody wants to follow whether this is beneficial for eye floaters or not, subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting periodic updates. Um, this stuff here, you can, you can throw into a blender, make a smoothie with it, throw a few strawberries or some bananas or something in there uh, for a little variety. And uh, check back, and I'll I'm gonna keep on going this uh, the start the survey that I or study that I was looking at was a 90 day study, so I'm not really expecting anything right now. Although I kind of think I'm seeing something. So if you want to keep up with it, subscribe and uh, ring the bell, and I'll post things as I see progress. Thanks for watching. Okay, just to show, I actually did clean my mess up, and I woke, apparently I woke Mr. Buddy up, and he wants his piece of pineapple. He's drooling all over the floor. So you want some? Hmm? Want some? Mm-hmm. Good stuff, huh? All right, that's enough. Thanks, you made your debut. <laughs> Wanna show everybody your ears? Hmm? There's his ears. Turn around this way. Here, look up. Look up. Say hey to everybody. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Mm-hmm.